Hey coders this is Neha from Webstack welcome to another episode on Node.js series so in this video we will be looking at how to send the responses to the client once we hit that request on our server so let's get started starting the video if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe to Webstack and hit the bell to get all the notifications So in the previous section we have already seen how we can handle that request object and what all we can do with that object now it's time to send some responses on the browser till now our web browser was only loading and it was not printing anything on the web page but now it's time to send the response to that request so let's go to the code here and I'll just remove this headers part because we don't need it anymore now also this exit and make sure whenever you make any changes as I have already told you you need to restart your server and I'll simply write node app but let's first write some code here and, and now I want to send the response so I need to tell my browser that in what type will I be sending that response so I need to set a header so there is something called set header which is a method by default available with this response object so we can use that and I will be writing inside it you can set any property of the header you want like we will be setting out the content type here which will actually tell the browser that okay what type of content you are sending to me so we will say that yes we are sending uh, let's say I'll write text slash HTML so this means we are sending an HTML data uh, to the web browser so after that after setting the header and informing the browser that okay we are sending this kind of data now we actually need to send the data so for that the data is always sent in the form of chunks so what do I mean by that you will get to know in some time so now to write the data onto your browser you will simply use the write method and then you can write the HTML tags here like if you want you can also write HTML head tags body tag but I will be simply writing the h1 because it will automatically understand that it is a HTML code so here I will be giving any dummy data so let's say hello uh, from node.js server so that is any vague value and if you want to write anything else here then you can also use the res.write method and here I can write in h2 part welcome to this course so like this we can write the data onto the browser in the form of chunks so you can see I have written two chunks of data here and if you want to give the HTML tags as well you can write it like this I'll just tell you uh, you need to give this HTML tag oops I need to include all this statement inside the quotes or you can use single quotes or double quotes so my bad so you need to use this otherwise it will not be executed and after writing all these uh, chunks you have to tell the browser that yes we have stopped sending the chunks and that's the end of it so we need to tell where we are ending it so I need to write res dot end and also it will not be making sense if I don't just close this HTML tag so I'll simply close this HTML here and now I'll save and I'll execute this program by simply running node app so now my server is running let's go to the browser and just hit this localhost 5000 and here we go so here you can see that we got the information or the data in the form of HTML the first statement in h1 tag and the second statement in h2 
You can also check this out in the uh, developer tools. If you go to the network tab and if I just re-hit this server, you can see there is a local host part and you can see all the request and responses details into this network tab. Here we can see that the status code is 200 OK. That means everything went well. And also you can see the request headers where it says it is accepting the data of type text slash HTML. And also if we see the response here, you can see we are getting this HTML as a response. So right now we are doing a lot more things than it is required because we are not using any kind of framework right now, but later on we will be using Express and we don't need to write all this stuff there. So the things will become more easy, but I want you guys to know about these nitty gritty details as this makes your core very strong. And also if I change this content type as text slash plain, so all my data will be given as a plain text on the browser. So let's check this out. I'll just execute it again. And now you can see when I hit the browser, it's actually giving me the tags as well. That means it is treating that HTML, H1 and H2 tags as the plain text. So whatever content type you define, it will just display the data in that format. So that's all for this video guys. I hope you understood the concept and if you do, please give the thumbs up and do share it with all your friends. So we'll see you in the next video.